Hi guys, this week we've got Charlie Chow in the gym. He's gonna show you how he likes to set up a head kick. I know he loves to do this in sparring and he's also pulled it off in a lot of fights. The best way to set up your head kick is by throwing other kicks first, right? Get them to react to something. When they overreact, that's when they're open for the head kick. So the first way we're gonna do it is to throw the teep or the push kick then fake that push kick as they go to parry or catch the push kick and then they're open for the head kick. So with Charlie, he's just gonna step back, throws the teep as I step in the first time. When he starts lifting up that knee, I think, okay, I see that push kick coming. That's when I drop my hands to go catch the push kick or parry the push kick. So he teeps again, whoosh, but he fakes, skips in, boom, come through that head kick. Especially if I'm going to reach down, dropping my hands, they're open on that side of their face. Okay, so when you do it on pads, obviously I've got to hold the pads up. In sparring, you're waiting for the person to take the bait of catching that push kick. Of course, I'm going to have my hand up ready to catch that kick. So always good to throw more than one teep. So he teeps, whoosh, but as I come back in, teeps again, whoosh, boom. Now he starts faking it, seeing how I react. When he knows I'm going to react, he skips in with that head kick. So we're just going to teep twice, then fake, then kick. All right, so he comes in, ooh, shape, ah, ooh, shape. Now the fake, ah, yeah. head kick, good. Head kick, good. Whoosh, tip, whoosh, ah, yeah. Good. Tip, whoosh, tip, whoosh, yeah. Good. Tip, whoosh, skip tip, whoosh, good. Now this time he tips, whoosh, he fakes the skip. Ah. Whoosh, skip to whoosh, two, whoosh, skip head. Ow. One more time. Two, whoosh, skip, whoosh, two, whoosh, skip. Ow. Okay, you can work any variation off it. Um, if you've got the space to head kick. If you haven't got the space, of course, you can skip coming in with the knee or skip elbow. Always find the elbows a good one because you're planting your feet. Get a hard elbow, especially when you've skipped in, all right? If you do it by itself, they'll see it, but because they're expecting the push kick, all right, it's gonna land nice and flush. All right, so same variation. It's gonna teep, skip teep first. Whoosh, boom. Whoosh, up, next time. Teep, whoosh, up, skip, and pull down, elbow. So even if they do have their hands up, you've got your lead hand free, pull it down and follow through with the elbow. Teep, whoosh, skip. Uh. So other ways you can set up your head kick. You can work the levels, all right? If they've got head movement, just throw a straight right at them, all right? If they like to fight with their hands down and be cocky, make them think they're Muhammad Ali, so they slip outside that punch, you can follow straight through that head kick. They're gonna move their head straight into it, okay? So you always gotta think that one step ahead of them, all right? Make them feel confident, especially if you've seen them do it a few times, they move their hand, boom. Move into it. So slip outside, yeah. boom, into that kick. Slip yeah. outside, but basically whenever somebody moves to the side, that's the side your kick can move, all right? Because they're moving into your kick. Especially if you've created it, comes in. Yeah. But. Yeah. Mm, thanks, okay. And the next way to set up a head kick is to work the levels. Always taught to go high, low. So you can throw that right hand to the body. Yeah. But. All right, whenever you hurt somebody in the body, they're gonna to wanna to protect their body. Then you can come through with that head kick again. So hard right to the body, over the top. You hit somebody hard to the body, all right, we're gonna go from that body shot to the head kick. First we'll do the offbeat, which means right punch, right kick. So again, when you hurt them to the body, right, they drop their hands, and you follow through. We call it half beat, because you're throwing that punch, knowing that you're coming through with that kick straight away. You're not punching, Stepping back, then kicking. You're setting it up, hoping they, they, they drop their hands as you go punch and following through with that head kick. Again, as soon as he punches, push, push, I go through. Again, even when they throw that punch to the body, all right, a lot of people will go outside that punch. They're moving into your kick again. All right, so when he comes through with that punch, push, push, go through with the head kick. Push, 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 push. Okay, the last one we're gonna do is uh, Charlie's favorite combo. I've seen him pull it off many times in his fights and inspiring. He comes through with the overhand. And he comes through with that overhand right, up, 
You're either going to guard up or lean back, which opens up the body again. So hits overhand, body rip, drown that head kick. Offbeat's a good way of catching them out, but the best way to get power is right, left, right. So you're turning your body from one shot to the next. So all these shots are power, and one of them's going to get them. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Okay, thanks guys, and thanks for Charlie Shaw for coming in the gym. Uh, make sure you check out his cafes, one in High Marsh, one in the city. Be on Charlie. Guys from the gym that want to borrow pads until we reopen next month, more than welcome, so you can practice these combos at home. Just don't knock out anybody in your family. All right, thanks, Charlie.